Hi, Dennis here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for helping me win the Democratic nomination in Ohio's 10th Congressional District. It's been your support, financial and otherwise, and the support of a powerful effort by labor in the district, which enabled me to win the primary. But we just received some rather shocking news today that I want to share with you. Over 10,000 Republicans crossed over from Republican to Democrat in the 10th District, taking Democratic ballots and voting in the presidential and in the congressional race. We know they were trying to interfere in the Democrats' choice for, for president in Ohio. But they were also making a concerted effort to knock me out of Congress using a Democratic primary. This is a kind of fraud. While Ohio election laws permit someone to go to the polling place on election day and declare that they're now a member of a new political party, this does not represent in any way, shape, or form a new commitment on the part of Republicans to Democratic principles. As a matter of fact, most of the 10,000 came from the most affluent parts of the 10th district. So what we had here was a concerted effort by Republican media, Republican advisors, Republican contributors, and now Republican voters to try to determine the outcome of a Democratic congressional primary. Some say, well, it's, you're upset with me because I ran for president. Look, these Republicans weren't upset because I was running for the Democratic nomination for president. They were upset because I was challenging George Bush and Dick Cheney, because I was challenging the destruction of our Constitution, challenging a war based on lies, challenging them with articles of impeachment, challenging them. 10,000 Republicans in one congressional district took Democratic ballots. Now, in one way, I suppose I should be flattered, but let me tell you something. Uh, the local newspaper is doing everything it can to continue to try to take the seat for the Republicans by pointing out yesterday that if the uh, newly minted Republican nominee for Congress gets enough money, he'll be a serious candidate in November. So against these kind of odds, I rely on you because you helped bring me through the primary. Without your help, I don't think I could have made it. So what do we need to do? Here's what I would like to do. And this can be great fun, actually. I am asking you that in the next 10 days, Help me raise a significant amount of money so that we can show those 10,000 Republicans that we have the strength of many. We need to have an appropriate answer to these 10,000 Republicans in the only language that many of them understand. Because if I'm able to raise enough money to be able to withstand the kind of challenge that surely is coming, I'll be able to return to Congress to be the spokesperson for peace, to protect the Constitution, for a not-for-profit health care system, to save our basic industries, to, to end NAFTA, to protect our environment with new sustainable energy policies to meet the challenge of global climate change, to finally start paying attention to education and getting funds in education, which right now is being starved because of this war. I think we have the strength of at least 10,000 Republicans. So in the next 10 days, I'm asking you to help us raise money so that by the end of those 10 days, we can announce to 10,000 Republicans just how strong we are. That 10-day period, by the way, will end on March the 19th, the fifth anniversary of the invasion of Iraq, a war that everything that I have has been poured into to try to stop, to try to bring an end to. You have my continued commitment to stand up and speak out on behalf of peace, on behalf of the Constitution, on behalf of all that's good and right about our country. But first we have some work to do. Let's answer these 
10,000 Republicans. And let's answer it in a way that's strong and forceful and determined. All the characteristics you have a right to expect in your congressman. Thank you very much.